Hello, good day. Welcome to my channel. My name is Fola Ishile and without wasting much time, I want to delve into what this video is all about. So this video is all about uh, Facebook blocking your hard account and you now want to use your domain name. You want to transfer your domain name to another Facebook ad account because of aggregated events. You won't be able to just want to remove that domain name from your hard account. And this is a policy that started basically because of iOS uh, updates. So I want to tell you, if you're to subscribe to this channel, subscribe because you have access to energy content on financial independence, Facebook marketing, uh, digital marketing as a whole, and the likes. So without wasting too much of your time, let's dive in. So this is uh, a particular Facebook account that I'll be using as an experiment. You can see on the screen, only active accounts can create or edit ads and you can also see that account disabled so what we want to do now is we want to do what we want to remove uh the uh domain name or domain names from this ad account why we want to do that is because we want to remove uh the domain names from this account so we can use what the domain names on another facebook account to track conversions via facebook pixel without removing them uh those are uh, the domain name you have on this particular ad account or whichever ad account that you have that has been disabled you won't be able to do what you won't be able to move that domain name to another ad account so what we'll do now we'll come here and we'll go to business settings we we'll go to business settings so we'll try to do what to remove the domain that we've added so i'll just click uh brand safety and domains domains so what we do is we can just click on either of this uh domain names then click remove remove so it's saying this domain is configured to optimize for web events using aggregated events measurements to remove the domain from this facebook business account you need to first delete this events from its configuration in the events manager yes so that simply means because you've added uh you've created some custom conversions and you've aggregated them with this domain name you can't just remove you have to do what you have to go to the uh to events manager and do what and remove that first so what do we do we're going to click okay let's click okay well i will open in a new tab let's visit event manager so and see how to go about that but we'll see that simply because the facebook ad manager has been disabled we are restricted from advertising we won't be able to do what to use event manager so come to think of it you can't access event manager and you are meant to uh to to, to uh delete those events on the event uh manager before you can do what before you can remove those domains and use them on another side so what we are going to do is we are going to click on dismiss let's click on dismiss we can observe from opening this event manager that we cannot actually do what we cannot edit what uh is uh what is on this page because it has been restricted and we are not even given access to remove yes because facebook do not want you to remove uh, uh the the domain names and go use them on another add account so what you're going to do now what we're going to do i'll just put you through how we can work through this in the description uh below and in the comment section you will see i dropped a what i dropped uh a link a link there that you can actually use to do what to uh, edit this and get over that so what you're going to do is you are going to open another tab just uh you're going to open another tab so i'll just i'll do that and uh just paste the link which i uh actually uh which is in the description box and one thing you want to do now you want to go to the event web events configurations where you can exactly do what edit uh the web events meant for this ad account so what we'll do is this you can see this is our uh, events manager browser hybrid is the id id and the account name but what uh, the account id but what we're going to do now is this come to you know this is what we copied don't hit in the enter button what we have to do now is come to your hard account 
then this is your ad manager let's just click here you can see your account id you can see at your business id so let's do this let's copy the business id go back to the tab which was opened and look for anywhere we have business id and replace replace just replace just replace yes yeah okay this is also id right we will also we will also replace we will also replace begin to replace begin to replace then let's go back to this other account we can also see what we can also see the what's it called the account id we're also going to copy the account id copy the account id then go back to uh, the tab then this is account id we also do what we replace then you can click enter so once you click enter it's going to do what it's going to it's going to load on uh, your page it's going to just load up so you can see it is still restricted but if you're familiar with uh, the facebook ad account and web event configuration page you will see that this is what this seeks exactly this is uh i mean exactly what you're seeing here is how it looks like but you are not just able to do what to manage them so what i'll do i will dismiss this once i dismiss this the next thing i'm going to do is so you can also see the link on the screen which is this that is exactly what you're going to do but you're just going to uh or delete the business id replace and also you're also going to delete the account id then replace so let's just go straight what you now have to do is just right click once you right click click on inspect and you want to delete you want to delete all the elements on this page so that you will be able to do what to edit and remove those uh those uh events so what you're going to do just click on this you can see select an element in the page to inspect so you can select you can select then you select an element then you hit the delete button so you keep doing that until you can highlight or you can edit anything on this page so i'll click again i will select and i will delete i can still work on this so i will select select and delete so can i no not yet so i'll still click on this select an element then delete what else is that all? no not yet so just keep doing it until you are able to do it to highlight any of the items here and mind you i didn't blow this this that is how you will see it by default so don't think i'm blowing because i don't want to see it yes now i can highlight so once i can highlight i will have to do what i have to close this so what we want to do now is we want to edit what we have here we want to edit what we have here if you're familiar you see this is money domain once again i am not the one blowing the screen it is because your account has been blocked that is why you cannot see clearly what is written on the screen so all you have to do now is what you these are the domains that i want to uh, work on so you can see this and harrow if you're familiar you can also open another uh, system so you can uh, familiarize yourself so click on this arrow and here we have manage events so once you click on manage events you can see uh uh when you edit it will not run for seven hours that's what is here so just click on edit uh once you click edit you have uh it's here so you have to just scroll to this and just click on this button you just click on this button to delete that is that that is that and once you delete you click on submit just click on submit uh, ignore this just click yes and apply so we've done that that has been deleted we have our uh, other ones here so let's so manage events manage events you have to do okay this is the one we did just now sorry uh we have to go to the second one because I have numerous, if you have just one, once you delete the first one, you turn. So I also click edit and uh, I'll just uh, delete all. I'll delete all using the same process. Delete all, submit. So yes, I understand, apply. And uh, 
So I have to go to the third one. Third one. So let me point you to this. Uh, this for this, I wanted to delete. And uh, you can see the arrow. You must wait 72 hours from your last change to update this domain event. If you are like me, that you edited that domain, you added an event to that domain within the last 72 hours before you had account uh, was blocked. You have to do what you have to wait uh, for 72 hours, uh, the minimum, before you can actually edit and delete go to this process but for the ones i have deleted i've been able to delete because i didn't i didn't add any event during in the last 72 hours so for others i'm going to delete but for those ones i'm going to leave because there, there's nothing i can do about it i just have to do what i have to come back here after 72 hours to do that so let me delete for others Okay, so we are left with the last one. We are left with the last one. Manage events. Edit. Submit. So now that we are done with this, we can now go back to delete our domain name. But mind you, you should remember that. I said earlier that uh, I said when I was doing this for this third one, I wasn't able to do what to delete because I added uh, an event uh, in the last in the last some two hours. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to uh, the domain uh, list page in under brand and safety. Uh, we're going to do that. Uh, okay, which is this, and all we're going to do is we're just going to do what we're going to refresh. Let us refresh so we can delete for everything every page you cannot access based on the fact that uh you that your site your other account has been blocked what you can do is you can go to another hard account any for this other account working you can copy the domain name just replace the id and you'll be able to so let's let's try to remove this now remove and let's click remove Oh, the domain has been removed from your business. Uh, mind you, we won't be able to remove one. Oh, uh, you know the reason because the event is now up to two hours, and so there's nothing we can do about that. At least for now, we've been able to remove this. I think this is the one that will not be able to remove because it's, you can see we can remove. They're still giving us the same issue, and so you click. Okay, let me remove the, this last one. Okay, this is not even verified, but I can still remove notwithstanding. So that is how you do what you remove your domain, and you will be able to what make use of uh, your domain name or your domain names on another on another other account. Thank you. If this video was impactful, please subscribe to my channel so you can have access to content that can uh, show you how to have financial independence and not only that, how to run uh, ads in the digital space. Thank you and God bless you.